Hey everyone, we got some more tough news for Tesla stock investors today in what seems like an everyday thing now in 2024. It just seems like more and more bad news keeps coming out about Tesla stock. However, it could be overdone now. Tesla stock price is down meaningfully in 2024 and it's approaching levels where investors are now asking, is it a good time to buy now? Is it too much negative sentiment around Tesla stock? So in this video, I'm going to look at these latest developments and look at Tesla's valuation now that it's fallen so much and start answering, start questioning whether or not Tesla stock valuation is approaching attractive levels. So let's get into the details of the recent news. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. Visit fool.com slash parkev for the 10 best stocks to buy now. All right, so the news that came out is that Tesla's California registrations fall for the first time since the pandemic. Registrations of Tesla vehicles in California dropped 10% in the last quarter of 2023. That's the first fall in more than three years in the state, which is one of the most important markets for electric car maker and considered a national trendsetter, which is true here in California. I live in California. They have the highest incentives, arguably, for owners to purchase electric vehicles we also have a strong network of charging stations but even still even here in california a lot of people are hesitant to get electric vehicles because even though we have one of the best charging networks worldwide it's still difficult to charge your electric vehicle it's still incredibly inconvenient especially if you're not living in a single family home if you're living in an apartment and most apartment complexes here don't have charging stations in the complex you can't really have home charging and your complex doesn't have charging so you need to go somewhere to charge your vehicle and parking waiting for your vehicle to charge that's extremely inconvenient and not to mention that electric vehicles are pricier than internal combustion engine vehicles and so california even with its strong incentives is now favoring a different type of vehicle as we're going to see in this video here so according to guidehouse insights one of the reasons why people are becoming more hesitant to buy tesla vehicles is because of all the price cuts that might sound counterintuitive right wait a minute tesla's cutting prices which is making it less attractive to buy a tesla vehicle well consider if you're an owner and you're watching other people who recently purchased teslas and then see their vehicle value fall as tesla cuts prices imagine you just bought a tesla let's say a year and a half ago before all the price cuts began the value of your Tesla significantly fell. So if you're thinking about reselling that Tesla, trading it in to upgrade for a new vehicle, now the value of that Tesla has fallen. And so if you're a person that's interested in purchasing a Tesla, you're thinking, I want to wait until all of these price cuts have ended and there's a somewhat of a floor on the prices of Tesla so that when I go out to buy the Tesla, I can feel confident that it will relatively hold the resale value. I don't want to buy a Tesla for fifty, sixty thousand dollars $60,000 and then find out six months later it's worth thirty, thirty-five thousand dollars $35,000 because Tesla has cut prices by 10, 20, 30 percent maybe. So it's kind of scaring off potential Tesla buyers. According to this one analyst, that's dissuading some potential customers. And I can understand that. If you're interested in buying a Tesla, you don't want to go out and pay tens of thousands of dollars for an asset and then find that value fall. So you're waiting for these price cuts to slow down or end perhaps before you jump into the market and buy the car so on the one hand while it makes it more affordable to purchase a tesla it also makes people hesitant because they're afraid that the value is going to fall anyways so during the full year in 2023 tesla increased vehicle sales by 24.6 percent but it lost market share by 10.5 percent to 60.5 percent of evs registered in california that's still a really strong market share 60 percent of evs registered in california are teslas that's a strong market share 
but Tesla's losing that market share. Its share of the overall California car and light vehicle market rose slightly to 13%. So not just electric vehicles, overall vehicles, Tesla's 13% market share in California. And you can start to understand how California is such an important market for Elon Musk and Tesla. So market share of vehicles with the hybrid powertrain are actually increasing in popularity in California. That jumped to 13.3% in the fourth quarter compared with 8.7% in the same quarter to prior year. And that's been a favorite choice of many car buyers who are looking to transition and save more money on fuel. Hybrids are becoming a better choice. Hybrids are similarly priced to the internal combustion engine models. They offer some convenience in that you can have gas or you can have hybrid. And that extended range, the extended miles per gallon is attractive. And it costs people fewer dollars every month to fill up. And they can still use fuel, internal combustion engine, and generate their miles driven in that way. They don't have to have a charging network. So that's been more attractive for consumers, along with the fact that internal combustion engine vehicles are more convenient for consumers. And that's really hurting Tesla in its most popular market, in its most favorable market. Still, all of that said, Tesla's bad news has arguably already been incorporated in its price. Could that be? Tesla stock price is down meaningfully in 2024 and for the last few months in 2023. So is that already incorporated into Tesla's valuation, the near-term headwinds, right? These are just near-term headwinds. These aren't longer term. Longer term, electric vehicles are likely to grow to increase in the percentage of overall vehicles as the charging network increases and as the prices of electric vehicles decreases it'll become more and more attractive for people to buy however that's going to take time it's just not going to happen overnight but if you look at tesla and sometimes i compare tesla to car companies and i get a lot of angry comments in my comment section saying Tesla is not a car company, it's a tech company. So in this comparison, I know not only compare Tesla with car companies like Ford and GM and Stellantis, but I'm also comparing Tesla with tech companies like Nvidia, Microsoft, and Alphabet. And no matter how you slice it and dice it, Tesla stock is more expensive. The forward price to earnings ratio of Tesla of 42.18 is way more expensive than any of the car companies at 6.7, 4.8, and 3.8 for Ford, GM, and Stellantis. And it's still even considerably more expensive than tech companies like NVIDIA, right? You think of the most beneficial company that's going to capitalize from artificial intelligence, that's NVIDIA. NVIDIA is trading at a forward PE of 31. Tesla is 33% more expensive than NVIDIA the company that's most going to benefit from AI. So if you're arguing that Tesla is an AI company and it should be trading at an AI type valuation, it already is. It's trading more expensively than one of the most benefited AI companies in the world. Same with Microsoft trading at a forward PE of 31.76. Microsoft benefiting from its investments in OpenAI and ChatGPT and Tesla is more than twice as expensive as Alphabet at a forward PE of 19.7. So despite the fall in Tesla's valuation, it's still trading more expensively, multiple times more expensively than any car company and more expensively than any tech company. So it's still trading at a super premium valuation. Thank you for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. I know there's a lot you could be doing with your time and a lot of other videos you could be watching. So I truly appreciate that you chose to watch this one. If you want to see more videos just like this, hit the subscribe or the like button. They'll both help me make more videos just like this one. Thank you again.